today I just want to show how to um, get NetBeans working with less the CSS uh, compiler, minifier, whatever, fantastic tool, uh, makes it much easier to build um, complicated style sheets uh, in a much simpler manner. I recommend you go check out my tutorial on uh, programming in less. Um, yeah, so it's one thing to know how to program in less, I, I don't know if you'd even call it programming, but um, it's a whole nother thing to integrate with NetBeans. So uh, this caught me out a few times, so here's how to do it. Uh, all you gotta do is the first thing, actually, first thing you gotta do is install less, which is right here, on Linux at least. Uh, your experience may vary. So I do that, wait for it to install, and bang, there it is. Uh, the command to compile your less in file into a CSS file is this. Uh, as shown here, you know, the parameters and everything. What you got to do is, um, you might uh, get a pop-up uh, saying you're, you're using a less file, um, do you want to set up whatever. But if you don't get that, you just go to properties in your setting, your project settings, and then go down to CSS preprocessors. Uh, we're not using SAS in this case, we're using less, so compile less file with this. And then you need to configure executables, and it's here, the less path. So that's the path I just copied out. Hit apply, hit OK. Now, at this point, you might think, oh, it's all done. Oh, you might have, from the other pop-up window, seen, you might have just got that window and thought, OK, this is fine now. I'll make a change. Um, so I'll change this to point seven, right? And that I'll save. And then that will immediately go to my style.css file. Style.css. Right at the bottom. Oh what? It's it's point five. Why is it not working? Blah blah blah. Um, the trick is you have got to put in the paths of where you want to watch for changes and where you want the changes to go. So back here uh, properties, go to CSS preprocessors, less, this, these are the folders you are watching. So I'm going to remove the default, which would just be the top folder being, at the moment I, my project, my top folders are projects and settings, so it's expecting that to be a less than CSS folder. I'm going to add our path, so it's going to be project, and then I've got public HTML, Public HTML, and then I, I've got a folder called less, which has got all my less files. And then I want all my less files to compile to the CSS folder. So project public HTML less. And then if you have more folders buried around here, there, and everywhere, you would just hit add and add them. But I only have the one. You can put in the compiler options here. So if you want to minify it, um, uh, I forget which way around it is. We remove the X to stop the minification process. Okay, so you you can add or remove the X or any other parameters, but uh, I'm just going to leave it as the default for now. I'm gonna hit okay. Now, when I change this, I'm going to point eight, control S, and then you can see my CSS folders here. Style CSS. Uh, live demos are always like this, Jesus. Um, okay, All right. well at least, you know. Uh, oh, hang on, close NetBeans, start NetBeans. This might do it. There we go. Oh, it's gonna put it in in here. Is that is that what's going on here? Yeah, that's. So I don't want that file. Properties. Let me just check. I configured this correctly. CSS. Less. Oh, that's my mistake. I put in less here instead of CSS. So okay. 
and then so I'm going to delete that too. It always creates this map file. I need to figure out what that really is all about, but I don't really need it. So now if I change it to 0.9 and hit save, and then I go here. Ah, oh, it's gone and done it again, hasn't it? It's gone and done it. Ah, CSS. Enter. That's definitely done. There's no apply button. Hit OK. I'm going to try it again. <laughs> Delete. Delete. Save that. And yep, there's no file there. And there we go. Um, just it's a padding of 1 EM. That doesn't work the other way around. If I change it on the CSS file, it doesn't come back here. So always make sure you're editing the right the right file. Uh, so I've saved that. It was 0.5, now it's 0.5. There you have it. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, sorry, it didn't work out first time, but my demos never do. All right, see you next time.